to ask for money. The minute I see you get money, you know, I'm I have to have some deal. money. Uh, yeah, that's then you got to go with me. You asked me for money, so I'm going to continue consider us friends. What you're trying to do is be a jerk about it. Why aren't you honoring your oath upholding and defend the Constitution? Welcome back to the Lackluster Channel. On June 28th of 2023, Jeff Gray was in Morrow, Georgia, where he stood on a corner with a sign that read, God bless the homeless veterans. After less than a minute holding his sign and waving to the passing cars, Officer Thrasher spotted him from across the street and used his PA to tell Jeff to get moving, as though it were unlawful to stand there, or if Jeff was a stray dog. Don't do that, man. Keep, keep moving. Hey, uh, yeah, don't do that. In response to being told to get, Jeff extends a greeting of his own to the tyrant, who despite Georgia's law against amplifying sound from within a car so that it's plainly audible at a distance of 100 feet or more from the vehicle, gets back on the PA. Hey, yeah, go, go, go down the other way. Jeff again extends his middle finger to the officer. Oh, that was a nice. But this time, Officer Thrasher cuts across four lanes of traffic to speak with Jeff. So you, you don't like me, I guess? Yeah, as long as you don't ask for money, I don't have a problem. I'm okay. a Christian as the day is long, but All don't right. ask for money. The minute I see you get money, you know, I'll I take can I have some deal. money? Uh, yeah, that's then you gotta go with me. That's what I just yeah. did. Yeah, don't, don't hey, ask. Panhandling is free speech. Yeah, no, it's not. Yeah, it is. Yeah. Officer, I'm, I'm going to ask you directly for some money. No, no. Uh, yeah, just go around. You're good. Can I have some money from you? No, no, you can't. Okay. So, look, man. Um, Panhandling is free speech. I'm a nice guy. Okay. It's irrelevant and whether you're a nice really, guy. And, and we're whether, not going to do whether this. Whether you're a nice guy or not is irrelevant. We're not going to do this. Whether you're a nice okay. guy or not is irrelevant. It doesn't have anything to do with it. it. It's not. It's the not, law and the it, Constitution has is what's important. Well, what you got is you got a public space, and you're you're in the public space. Yes, sir. And you either. Jeff tells me that in the heat of the moment, he mentions the Warren Court several times throughout this video, but he meant to refer to the Willis Court. But even in recent years, the U.S. Supreme Court has held that the First Amendment covers charitable appeals for funds, and that panhandling, solicitation, and begging is protected speech under the First Amendment. But Jeff's sign wasn't requesting money, so to drive the point home that the current state of law enforcement is inherently unconstitutional, he specifically asked the officer for money when Thrasher erroneously claimed that the act was unlawful. And now, instead, Officer Thrasher tells Jeff that he is loitering. You're in the public space yes, and you loiter. In Georgia, a person commits the offense of loitering when they are in a place at a time not usual for law-abiding individuals under circumstances that warrant a justifiable and reasonable alarm or immediate concern for safety. Standing on the sidewalk in broad daylight surely isn't suspicious. And remember that Jeff had only been at the corner for 49 seconds. But to complicate the insanity of even mentioning loitering, Jeff is literally standing at the corner of a public park. But not just any park. A Vietnam War memorial with benches occupied by other visitors. Why anyone would want to remove a man from anywhere for merely saying God bless the homeless vets is beyond me. But the act of forcing him to leave and citing him for the activity while at a veterans park is wholly un-American and about as unconstitutional as it gets. Thrasher continues to claim that he's a nice guy, but so far his actions prove otherwise. You know, I could use that. Yeah, go ahead and use loitering and, and, and I, can, I, mean, I got you checkmated with that for peaceful assembly. Can you can you outlaw peaceful assembly and freedom of speech by saying that I'm loitering? Come on, man. If you want to do that, Look, roll man. that dice, hook me up, I'm your huckleberry. Otherwise, okay. leave me alone. Leave yeah. me alone. Go on about your business. Officer yeah. Thrasher, have a nice day, sir. Okay? You're free to go. I'm going to put you on notice. I'm going to engage in constitutionally protected activity. On a traditional public forum, and there's nothing you can do about it. Unless you want to do something stupid and get yourself in a lot of trouble. Well, no, I don't want to get Look, myself in a lot I'm, of trouble, I'm, but this this, this is where I'm going with okay. it, my friend. You know, and, and I, I, you asked me for money, so I'm going to continue, consider us friends, okay? <laughs> so th this is... This I asked you for money this, to call is, your bluff, okay? Well, on, no, what you're trying to do is be a jerk about it. No, you're the one You're trying to be a jerk because basically 
we don't want panhandling. Panhandling is a state law. Panhandling is a constitutionally you, protected activity. No, it's not. It's freedom of speech. Well, it is to really. So what defines freedom court. of speech? What freedom defines freedom of speech? Freedom of speech. Of speech. It's freedom of speech. So can you yell no, fire in a crowded? What does that uh, have to theater? do with asking for a charitable bill? Can you funds? can you yell fire no. in a crowded theater? No, you can't. Yeah, you can't. So there are limitations you can, to but speech. You get so there are for limitations it. to speech. Wonderful. The officer has heard one poorly constructed argument and is now leaning on a watered down version of it to present a false dichotomy. The truth is, you absolutely can yell fire in a crowded theater. If there is a fire and you don't yell, you're kind of a jerk. And as much as there is nuance to yelling fire, there is some nuance to panhandling. While the state of Georgia does not specifically outlaw the act, the city of Atlanta does, but in very small, defined zones. Otherwise, panhandling must be accompanied by the word aggressive meaning the person followed, touched, or blocked your path during the act, none of which has happened here. But there's just not, tell me. Just tell me. Are there they're, limited, they're, okay. All right. So then if you are causing a breach of peace for the public, mm -hmm. we're getting close to that, so people don't want of this city. I don't care what they do to two cities down. See, but that's Maybe the they're that all constitutional. Matter. Your city can't but pass a law. Oh, no, sure. they they can. Can. It's called city Your ordinances. city ordinance does not override the right to peaceful assembly and free speech. Well, I think the Supreme Court's already ruled on they that. Have. So, they I mean, that I mean, the states, states, are, states, so do states have power? Can we trump federal law? No. You so, so, so the state can't come up with a, no, no, so the state cannot come up with something just in that state. The, state, the federal law says okay. The state cannot come up with something just in that state, just in that city, just in that county that overrides our civil so rights. So we can't, it's like marriage, we can't come up with something like The state that? cannot come up with something. So, yeah, can, so, so, so the state can't comment on marriage or abortion or anything like that. They can, they want. Zero, nine, they one, just can't. Seven, eight, they just can't zero, nine, one, ab abridge our civil rights, our civil liberties. And, and so you're you're saying that it, that 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 states don't have individual power. I'm saying that panhandling has been ruled by the, the federal Supreme Court, the highest court of the law and land. Highest court in the land. I don't think I've heard that. That um, panhandling is really? considered. Really? Can you quote me the? Uh, it's the uh, the. Uh, just, just give me the case so I can make sure. Since you're so vastly knowledgeable <laughs> about this, you school uh, me on it. Even though I've been doing it for twenty plus years. Right, right. So that's and that's the school other. School me on it. I've got a copy of the Constitution right there. The Warren so, Court. It's called the Warren Court. That's the oh, decision. The Warren. The Warren, Warren W A R. R E N Supreme Court in the Warren case ruled that and what panhandling was, is a charitable appeal that? for funds. What year was it's that? well established. It's been 20, 30 years ago. Or more. Okay. And the states Good. like uh, the state of Florida, it's uh, David Joseph Watchers versus the state of Florida. Because I, I know where you're going with this yeah. and you're you're gonna lose. Um, because you this stupid video about the state law, blah, blah, blah. The guy was behind a driving, he was behind a wheel of a car. Officer Thrasher is now referring to a video that went viral nearly a year ago, featuring Jesse Cortez and his encounter with the same police department. We'll talk about that more in a minute. For now, Officer Thrasher is still looking for a way to misrepresent the laws he doesn't understand so that he can shoo off the unwanted man and his sign, clinging to the worn out sovereign citizen quips. You have to have in the state an ID, you have to have a Georgia driver's license or a driver's license. Oh, yeah upon demand. Oh, you believe in that? If you're driving. No, no, you can't believe in that because you believe that you don't have to give me any ID or anything like that. I don't have to give you any ID right now. Of course, I know. <laughs> and, and I'm not going to ask but you if yet. I, if, I'm not going to ask you yet, yeah. but it's coming, buddy. It's coming. Yeah. So, so, so well, what, let's cut what to the you chase. saw about the video. You're not getting my what ID. What you saw about the video. You're not getting my okay, ID. Hold on. We'll, we'll well, get well, to I'm going to cut to the chase. You're not getting my ID. 
2606. You're so close to me. I'm gonna step away from you because you've already okay, made contact cool, with me. Cool. I don't want any accidental contact. No, of course. And I want to let you know I'm not a violent person or I'm not either. I'm not. I'm far from violent. But I believe in standing up for my rights. I've served this country. I Desert Storm. I'm a veteran. I I I really enjoy this conversation. But what I want to get to is. I understand that 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 we got an issue. Hey, the chief of police right here. Oh, good. Oh, perfect. Because this is the guy you're mad at. This is the guy you're mad at. No, no, you know that video, dude. Don't play me. Don't play me. You're not. You're not. You're not going to win that either. I know you do this stupid video and crap. Hey, we can't stop panhandlers. Go figure. Hey, gentlemen, how are you? We can't stop panhandling. I'm engaged. Yeah, just before y'all, before y'all even start, I'm gonna let you know. I'm engaged in constitutional protected activity, staying on the public sidewalk. I don't being constitutional. Did you, did you see me panhandling? Yeah, you asked me for money, well, didn't that's, you? That's true. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. on video. Yeah, panhandling is a free speech. <laughs> All right. He yes. says, roll the dice and he'll be our uncle. He'll be yeah. clear from 16. Hey, Hanley is free speech. Uh, 27. I don't That's remember. Right. He says the warrant. I don't think I remember the that. The warrant court. The, Florida, uh, the, the federal Supreme Court. Oh, and ruled. he flipped me to bird two a couple of times. Yeah. That's, That's not speech. a person. That's free speech. That's cool. I'm cool so with that. So is standing on the public side by saying, God bless Thomas Day. Which is Especially bad. three days before. Uh, You're exactly right. We're okay, then have a nice day, guys. But you asked him for, for money. Yeah, but you asked me for money. Well, and I that's, told that's you free not speech. To. That's I free speech, you. too. If y'all look, look it up. The Warren Court said panhandling, why don't you listen to me? Panhandling is a charitable appeal for funds, it is therefore protected free speech. The Supreme Court of the United States said that. Well, you know, I'm curious. What is your end goal on this? My goal is to come out here. And do you live here? I, I'm not. I'm not answering questions like that. I'm not answering where I'm well, from. Do you live like anywhere that. near? I'm from the '70s. This is it. You what? I'm from the '70s. <laughs> I, I'm not talking about your era. Yeah. Do, do, you know, we're all from that yeah. era. Yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm originally saying, from uh, Marietta, Georgia. Marietta, Georgia. Yes, okay. So why don't you want to go panhandle in Marietta? I'm not panhandling. Why do you Why do you come down here? Does it have something to do with the video? Until he asked right. for money. Yeah. You asked him for you money. You did. You asked for money. Everything well, else you're doing is what are we doing? What are we doing? We're going to ask you not to stand here and ask for money. That's what yeah. we're going to ask. Okay. But you can stand I'm going to put you on notice that it's my right to stand here. That's real notice all you want. Okay. You can stand here. Well, I'm not you to leave. If I, okay, I listen to you. Please listen to me. If I stand here and ask for money, what's going to happen? I listen to you. Will you listen to me? Okay. Okay, you can stand here with your sign as long as you're not blocking the egress of people on the sidewalk. Okay. Okay. You are on public sidewalk. Yes, sir. You're absolutely fine. Okay. But you can't panhandle for money. And if I panhandle for money, what's going to happen? You'll be violating city ordinance. And what's the penalty for that? There'll be a citation. You'll citation. go to court and answer the judge. A citation? Would I be arrested? No, sir. I said, no, okay. I'm panhandling. Can I have some money? Can I have some money? I'm going to panhandle. Who's okay, the chief? Yeah, You're the chief. That's the point where we do have to have your idea. Okay. You know, if you're going to write me a citation, it's in my pocket. Yeah, I will. I'll write I'm gonna, you a citation. You know, if you're going to write me a citation, yeah, we'll I'll challenge that. Okay. I'll challenge that. There you go. There's my idea. Thank you, sir. That's because right. you're writing that's me a subject. Yeah, idea. and that's cool. And, and yeah. Have we not been cool? We've had good recourse up to this moment. The fact of the matter is no, they have not been cool. Telling what you perceive to be a homeless veteran to get is not nice, it's not friendly, and it's not cool. And that all happened before the officers really set out to violate his rights. Right off the bat, I just said, man, hey, don't but do that. you got we one, two, three, four, including the chief of police out here for freedom of speech. Well, the, well actually, we were just driving by. Yeah. You see us ride by? And I heard he called call. for another unit. Yeah, I heard call. So we were here. This yeah. is what we do. We're a small city. We take care of each other. But once hey, you get yeah. here, freedom of speech, you guys can just leave me alone. <laughs> but you were paying right, me. I'm over right is freedom of speech. Okay, but you were paying me. You're violating city ordinance. City ordinance doesn't override the United States Constitution. Okay, well, that's where we're at. And city ordinance does not override the Supreme Court. You okay. can argue that in court with the judge, All right. which is not a problem. Right. But you can stand here as long as you're not blocking egress. I, I'm and not as long that. as you're not asking for money. If you're panhandling for money, you'll receive a citation, which is what you're doing now. Okay. Okay. Uh, yeah, that's fine. That's I mean, that's it. And I'll challenge that. Okay. And that's your right. That's your right. That's what you're 100% right to go in front of the judge and challenge that. And not your judge, the federal judge. 
You can, you, know, well, you have to go to our you're, judge. You're a stupid little judge. I already know what's going to happen to your stupid little judge. What Jeff is referring to is the same incident that Officer Thrasher mentioned in the beginning about the chief and the video. This stupid video about the state law, blah, blah, blah. Where Jesse Cortez was parked in a park and the police chief rolled up and demanded his license out of nowhere. Jesse Cortez. Get out of the car. On the traffic stop, he says changed his life. Cussing at you, you know, they already violated my rights. They pulled me out of the vehicle. They were moving me physically. Morrow Police Chief Michael Crumpler initiated a traffic stop on Cortez in September, just a few months before. Ten officers responded during the traffic stop after he refused to show his license when asked by Chief Crumpler. If he just would have given the chief his, his ID, you know, he probably would have ran his uh, driver's license and released him. Despite the officer's behavior, the municipal judge found Jesse guilty of disorderly conduct for basically sitting in his car at a park. Afterwards, Jesse couldn't find a lawyer to file an appeal, but the incident was big enough and so egregious that it got national airtime. But municipal courts are run by local judges that have tea parties with the prosecutors and cops in their jurisdiction. And due to the small size of the venue, they're usually friends, which means that going to court at that level will almost certainly end with a guilty verdict. Well, you got to go to our judge first, yeah. and you can appeal that, and that's perfectly your rights. And your joke, you your little municipal court, your joke of a municipal court, your joke okay. of a judge. Well, I'm not going to argue that way. Yeah. I'm just telling you the way to do it. Let him know I said that if he wants. I don't get, it doesn't matter to me what All you right. say. That's strange. They keep telling him that he's being cited for panhandling. I'm just telling you the process. Right. You asked me how to do it, so I was trying to tell okay. you, and then you talk over me. Being talked over appears to really hurt the captain's feelings. The silly thing is, Jeff never inquired about the appeals process. His inference to the federal court meant that he plans on filing a lawsuit. More on that in a moment. So, any other questions for me? No, sir. We're okay, good. good. I'm My Captain Jeff. Beard. What's your, uh... Captain Beard. Captain? And your Mike chief? Yes. Mike Crumpler. Okay. Yes, sir. Officer, uh... Arthur Arfield. 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 Yes, sir. Any questions for us? No. We're, we're not trying to give you a hard time. It's just we have certain rules and ordinances and there's that laws. unconstitutional. I'm not the one that does that. Okay. That's You're the one that's Supreme enforcing Court. it. You're the one that's enforcing it. I, no, I am enforcing the laws of the state of Georgia and the city of Arlington. Are you guys, okay. uh, now are you, any of you guys veterans or anything like that? I am. Then why are you out here enforcing unconstitutional ordinances? Why aren't you honoring your oath to uphold and defend the Constitution? I am You're, he's going to write me a ticket yes, for free speech. No. Panhandling. Panhandling is free speech. Okay. Stop him from doing that. And that's something you can argue with the judge. Okay? Any yeah. other questions? I'm good, man. All right. Well, take Thank care. you, sir. Stay safe out there. The funny thing about the entire situation is that not one of these four officers, including the chief of police, knew that their own city had no panhandling ordinance. So instead, Thrasher had to write Jeff a citation for loitering, for standing on a corner in front of a veteran's park for 49 seconds. After the incident, Jeff sent a picture of the citation to his lawyer at fire, who then called the department. And it appears that the Moro officials know they messed up because they furnished the body cam footage that day, which is the fastest I've ever heard of body cam footage being released, especially from Georgia, a state that can withhold records when attached to an open case. I wouldn't be surprised if the loitering charges dropped quickly, perhaps even by the time you're seeing this video, or if Jeff files a lawsuit against the Oathbreakers in the very near future. For more info on that, and for more footage of this incident, I highly recommend that you visit Jeff's channel if you haven't already. Thanks for watching. If you have a video, use the submit link in the description or pinned comment. If you enjoyed this one, subscribe and hit the bell for future content. And check out our other channels, Lady Lackluster and The Odd Side. Remember to like, share, and leave a comment about what you think of this interaction. It's the easiest way for you to help expose corruption and misconduct. Merchandise is available using the links below. Join the Lackluster family for just a buck if you'd like to further support the channel. Get a Lack logo next to your name, custom emotes, and early access to videos. I look forward to seeing you in the next one. All links are down below.